What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we are talking about psyching up. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, follow the algorithm. So I wanna give a shout out to Middle Hinzemans. I originally saw this from him talking about this study. This systematic review, they looked at different forms of psyching up for lifting and whether or not it improved maximal force production. Surprise, surprise, they found that psyching up, the scientific term is arousal, increased maximal force production. There was a lot of different ways to do it. One of the things they found that like, for example, self-directed stuff didn't seem to be as good in terms of like, if you just told yourself, get angry, versus like actually seeing something that would make you angry or make you arouse, maybe like a motivational video or just something that, you know, gets you fired up. They also found that like positive directed self-talk was helpful and that could be external or internal, meaning you could audibly be like, let's go or, or whatever, whatever it is, you know, in the case of me, I like to say really unhinged just to see what happens, you know, but not everybody's personality is like that. And they found that also internally on average, if people talk to themselves, it had the same benefit as external. I do think there are some differences here between individuals. And I always like to use the example of somebody like myself versus somebody like a, a Mike Toucher. And Mike is uh, a legendary powerlifter with Powerlifting America, has competed at the world stage many, many times. And Mike, if you watch him lift, pretty much looks like he's going out to walk his dog. Like he's just very even keel. He doesn't look like he's necessarily really excited. He just kind of walks up to the bar and, and does whatever he's going to do. Whereas I'm like doing cartwheels and look like I'm going to sacrifice some kind of farm animal before I go out to lift. If you meet Mike, Mike is a very introverted, quiet guy. For anybody who's ever met me, I am not that. I'm a big personality and I talk a lot. I do think part of this boils down to like personality differences. If I tried to lift like Mike, I would probably lift less weight. If Mike tried to lift like me, he would probably lift less weight. So for him, it works to be very internal. For me, it works to be very external. Now trust me, I wish I was the strong silent type. I wish I was not so talkative and did not do so well with audible psyching up, but I do. So it is what it is. Other things that can improve performance, music. For the most part, again, this is a very individual thing. You know, some people are gonna be listening to screamo heavy metal. Some people like classical music. It just depends on whatever gets you aroused or fired up. That is what's gonna be best for your particular lifting performance. Other studies have also shown that like, for example, if you have people present, so if there's other people around and if people are like encouraging you, that that will also improve performance. They've also found that if you have members of, you know, typically I'd say the opposite sex, but if you're homosexual, whatever, whatever your preferred sexual preference is, if those people are present, that will also improve performance. Most of these things are probably pretty intuitive for anybody who's lifted or like tried to go hard in the gym. If you are by yourself and it's dead silent, there are some people who lift well that way. I'm not one of them. And I think on average, most people lift better when they're in an environment that's conducive to being you know, fired up, aroused. And that's why if you're a member at a really, really good gym with a lot of people who are training hard, who are very encouraging, it plays loud music. Yeah, you're probably gonna perform better. You know, it just depends on what your particular personality is like. Again, if you are somebody who doesn't like those audible like psych ups or whatever, or you don't like to feel like a lot of people are watching you, hey, this research doesn't matter for you because if you know that your preference is a quiet gym that doesn't have a lot of people in it or even by yourself, lifting in silence, then there is absolutely nothing wrong with that if you know that's what works for you. But on average, we find that most people perform better when they're doing some sort of psych up, whatever that looks like, to get themselves fired up and aroused and ready to go crush some weights. If you like to get fired up and go crush some weights, make sure you check out the pre-workout that I designed, Outward Nutrition's pre-workout. It is clinically dosed with science-based ingredients and it hits different. So you click the link in the description, check that out. I promise you, it's gonna be very difficult to have a bad workout on our pre-workout. So check out the link in the description. I'll catch you guys next week.